Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo y Calderón, also known as Frida Kahlo, the most famous Mexican artist of our time, was born on the 6th of July, 1907. Though she didn't know it at the time, La Casa Su, which is the house she grew up in, would age to be a piece of history later turning into a museum. This house, meaning the Blue House, is located in Coyoacan, Mexico. Her mother, Matilde Calderón, who was depressed a lot in Frida's life, was married to Guillermo Kahlo. And unlike her mother, she had a close relationship with her father. Frida was one of four sisters, with her being the third. The Mexican Revolution started when Frida was three in 1910, but she would tell people that she was born in 1910 so that they would associate her and her paintings with it. She even said that sometimes there would be revolutionaries that would get into their backyard by jumping over their fence and Frida's mother would make them food. She would also say later in her writings that she allegedly remembered when her mother would rush her and her siblings inside of the house because of shots heard. When she was about six years old, she got polio. Luckily, the illness was mild, but it made her right leg thinner than the left, which Frida made sure to hide by wearing long skirts. She had also gotten spina bifida, which changed both her spinal and leg development intensely. As of 1922, Frida had been freshly enrolled in a Mexican preparatory trying to study medicine and medical illustration. She was later one of the few girls to participate in boxing. She was one of 35 girls in her school. After being enrolled in that school, she joined a gang, then later fell in love with the leader of that same gang, Alejandro Gomez Arias. In 1925, Frida unfortunately was caught in the middle of a bus accident. On top of having polio and the suffering she felt as a child, she was so injured that she even had to go through more than 30 operations in her lifetime. After the accident, Frida began to step away from the study of medicine and she taught herself how to paint. The self-portraits represented her and her struggles. When Frida was starting out her career, she approached Diego Rivera, who at the time was a very famous Mexican painter. She wanted his advice and Diego saw her potential. Later, they started dating and married in 1929, ignoring Carlos' mother, who disapproved of the relationship. Frida started to paint more and even painted while traveling to the U.S. with Diego when because he had the opportunity to make meals for people in many countries. At the time, she had many miscarriages and later her mother died. During the 1990s, both Frida and Diego would go on to have multiple affairs with different people, despite still being engaged. Diego even once had an affair with her younger sister, Christina. Now, around 1938, Frida had her very first solo exhibition. This exhibit was held at Julian Levy Gallery in New York. After this, many knew her, and in 1939, she went to Paris for another exhibition. Though Frida's marriage lasted 10 years with Diego, they divorced in 1939, but soon remarried in 1940. In 1953, Frida had a solo show in Mexico. She said they had to have her right leg amputated, but she still wanted to greet people, so she laid on a bed and received visitors that were hoping to see her art. A few days before Frida's death, she wrote, I hope the exit is joyful, and I hope to never return, in her diary. Frida died on July 13, 1954, while she was only 47 years old. It's thought to be due to a pulmonary embolism, but something that she overdosed on painkillers. Her most famous painting is The Two Fridas in 1939, and many know her by. At only 33 years old, the Louvre got one of Frida's paintings titled The Frame in 1940, which officially gave Frida the title of the first Mexican artist from the 20th century to have a piece in the museum. In 1946, Frida won the National Prizes of Arts and Sciences, which was awarded to her by the Mexican Ministry of Public Education. In 1958, her very own museum was opened. Frida's work was beginning to be shown in the new museum, Museo Frida Kahlo. This museum took place in La Casa Azul, which still holds to this day many memories of Frida. Frida Kahlo's story was truly told in the movie made about her in 2002, titled Frida. This movie went on to win two academic awards. After her death, Diego wrote in her autobiography that the day Frida died was the saddest day of his life. It is said that Frida would treat servants as family members and students had respected colleagues. She was mostly alone, hoping that her family and friends wouldn't forget her. She enjoyed making Diego meals and bathing him. She adored pets and children, though she could never have any as her own. 
Frida was and still is a revolutionary part of Mexican culture and art. Her art will always be remembered as a piece of history that inspired and influenced many artists.